is Kyla. You may recognize me from my blog, House of Hipsters, but if you don't, I am decor obsessed. And today, we're going to talk about setting up your dining room for the holidays. Let's get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So if you've never set up your table for a holiday before, that's okay. If you think of it like putting together an outfit, same idea. I like to keep things funky and keep things different and keep things a little strange and quirky because that's when guests remember your table setting. Don't forget, all of this is available at Walmart. Even though some pieces are a little lavish and others are lower on the budget, you get this nice high and low eclectic mix that is going to look beautiful. All right, this table is completely cleaned off. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off first with the runner. The runner is your foundation, just like a rug would be. This one here has a little bit of texture, but not a lot of pattern. And that is kind of what we wanna do when it comes to holiday and glam. Next step is our garland. This is also from Walmart. This one has a beautiful flocking on it that makes it look like snow. Next up is our hurricane vases with our candles. This is gonna create a little bit of coziness. It doesn't have to be in the center. You can have it kind of off kilter a little bit. Maybe you pull in something that's a little more plain. This is not good. <laughs> Here we're gonna place the second one on the opposite side. So now we have movement that is going this way. Now let's pull out our chargers. This is where you're gonna get that touch of gold and little extra sparkle. This table is coming together already. Now let's put these beautiful plates on our chargers. These have a smaller pattern. These can also be used every day if you wish. Next up are our salad plates. These have more of the bold pattern on them. That's gonna set right on top of our smaller pattern. And now you can see it's really starting to pop with all of these different textures, patterns, and metallics. Let's add a little bit of color, shall we? With these turquoise goblets. I absolutely love these. The pattern on them has a more vintage feel to them. Definitely kind of funky and a little whimsical. Are they vintage? Are they new? No, they're a nice affordable piece. Time for our water glasses. They too have a very vintage feel. These also have a pattern on them that's very similar to the goblets, but it's not a perfect match. However, it still feels vintage and fun. Now it's time for the bowls. You could set them here, but I'm actually going to use a napkin here. So I'm gonna take the bowl and just put it to the side. Time to give a little bit more personality into our garland here and create more of a centerpiece. I'm gonna start out by using these ornaments. I'm gonna take the hook side and make sure that we point it down. Tuck that little hook in so you don't see it nice and clean. And I'm just going to drop them in, in no real order. And it's really tying these turquoise blue goblets into our color scheme. Now let's bring these bottle brush trees in, shall we? I just kind of like to fill in holes that I might see and make sure my centerpiece is nice and full. And I'm loving the movement that's happening with these highs and lows and back and forth along the garland. Now it's time for our silverware, or should I say goldware? I'm going to start by placing the knife facing inward just like grandma taught me. The dishware splurge is starting to come together with this budget-friendly silverware. And that is how we do a high-low holiday. Next up are these two little votives. They have this cut crystal, very fancy look, but they also match our goblet and our water glass. This table is looking amazing, but we're missing napkins. Now it's time for our DIY. You're gonna start off with just a simple square napkin. Then you're going to lay it down and simply fold it into a triangle. Then you're going to take this point and meet it with this point, so it looks like this, and do the same on the other side. 
Now that we have our two sides together, we're just gonna scrunch and scrunch. So that way, you have something that looks like this. We're gonna take our ribbon and we're gonna tie it just in a simple bow. And then presto, you're done. I hope you learned some fun tips and tricks on how to make your tablescape beautiful for the holidays using all the highs and lows that you can find at Walmart. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more holiday content.